I'm Jashikins, and welcome back to my host review. Yeah, this is doing it all in one night still. All in one night, and it's not going to well. So, this part, let's start off with talking about the souls. Soul and body. It's like, it's like the, I've said this before, but this is another time where there was this concept that was never really used to its fullest extent. Like, this could have been used so much more. Naming your alien soul and connecting how they, them and their body are the same, are different, is a very interesting concept. The problem is Stephanie Meyer is not the woman that can properly explore that. Explore that. Because She's very set in what she can do, and when she branches out like she does in the hose, it just, it doesn't work. She, like, Twilight was good. You know, stick with that. That's your area of expertise. Something like that, but not something like naming it soul and not doing anything with the concept. And besides not doing anything with the concept, these peaceful creatures of peacefulness that... You even shout, and they start shaking like, Oh my god, oh my god, something drunk, something drunk. Commit genocide. All the fucking time. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, Malayne staying, you know, staying in her body when Wanderer invades doesn't usually happen. What usually happens is a soul goes into body and that... And the mind of the host just goes away. So, genocide all the time. And yet they don't really talk about it. They sort of brush it over like, oh yeah, we didn't really think of you as, you know, actually being alive. Which is really not a strong enough argument because these souls can see every memory. They should sort of know like, oh my god, I'm actually killing a person. Like, the, that... And these are supposed to be really peaceful, so that's, so the whole genocide and peaceful just really contradict each other to too big of an extent to really be acceptable. Like, again, Stephanie Meyer had this concept there, she just didn't do anything with it. Like, she can't, I don't think she can really write something that deep and complex, so that should have been left like, the soul's whole concept should have been changed, so Meyer could actually write something she can actually write. And, okay, all souls aren't these squeaky clean, all do-gooders. There are the Seekers. Now, the Seekers hunt down rogue, rogue, whatever planet they're invading, and, you know, subdue that population. And they're looked down upon. Because the whole race can commit genocide, but, you know, never, never mind, never, never mind that. <laughs> we want to get this video out. And the one character is, one character is referred to just as the Seeker. And the Seeker is totally fucking badass, and you can tell she's badass and she's a villain because she wears all black. Black, black, black. Like, I was just reading, I was like, reading the description of her and like, oh, this character is the villain! Big neon, black signs, a hey, villain here! And what's sort of funny and annoying at the same time is that the Seeker is the only one to really move the plot forward. She's the only one to say, hey, we should do this, this, and this, and come on, let's search. And, yeah. Like, nothing. Like, even the other souls are like, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, okay, let's screw her. Like, I can't understand. She's annoying, but she's also doing her job which isn't exactly to be pleasant. And so people being annoyed and maybe that's the reason they don't help her out, or like, oh yeah, 
Let's see. The seeker got captured, disappeared. Oh, she probably just died. Let's uh, totally forget about the fact that there are supposed to be rogue humans out here. And I could sort of understand this whole thing being, like Uncle Jeb's whole setup being too hard to find, except some random fucking humans find it. So, you're telling me these souls with technology can't? Like, they should have, once the Seeker was captured by Uncle Jeb's group, what should have happened is, you know, this the souls suddenly really going full swing on this and finding them that way. But, you know, since the whole pl plot moving forward device is captured and gone, and I guess, guess the plot stands still, because yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> the soul of Seeker's captured, and the Seeker's removed from her host, and then, like, the plot just finding Uncle Jeb, the souls finding Uncle Jeb just Where'd it go? <laughs> it's, it's it's just like, and the seeker was like the initial reading. It was like, oh my god, this is a fucking good villain. Because okay, you can joke about her being the plot device, but at least she's actually evil feeling. And then you find out her backstory, and that happens when. She's removed from her host, and the host, like, okay, let me first start off what the Seeker's backstory should have been. She should have been, it, Stephanie Meyer could have written her, like, pure evil, like she was born evil. Usually, souls, like, have a few lives and then go to being a Seeker. The Seeker, first life, right off the bat, chose that profession. And so that's like it could like be evil, be born evil, like since Stephanie Meyer is this pure black and white thing going on, pure evil, and then decides to okay, I'm gonna you know, I like causing chaos and pain, so I am going to, you know, hunt rogue humans and that's why I'm a seeker and that's why everyone's annoying because they can just feel this evil rain off of me. That turns out not to be a case. What turns out to be the case is that the Seeker's host is a fucking annoying bitch. So the Seeker this becomes a Seeker for that reason. Now, th that part alone annoyed me. Like, so she couldn't be this really big bad. We have to, to you know, whatever. But the whole backstory also gets a little inconsistent there because. The Seeker, because her host was annoying, became a Seeker so that she can find out what to do about getting rid of the humans that still remain and, you know, still remain when the souls take over their bodies. Why that doesn't make sense is that there was really no prior indication of anything like that happening. I mean, there's no prior indication that the Seeker was actually searching for answers. None of that was even fucking hinted at. It's like, she's chasing Wanderer Malay. No, she's a bitch. No. But, you know, just, just don't make something in your character's backstory come out of nowhere. Where was, where was she all seeking about answers? And, again, with, you know, making characters more in the gray area, why not have the Seeker grudgingly ask if, like, tell Malayne, tell Wanderer, I know Malayne is still in there. Don't ask me how I know, but I just want, want to know how you're going to deal with this. Don't let the human get overtake you. You know, have a more bitchy reply, but have that basically be the case of her, of the Seeker realizing Wanderers in the same predicament. Not admit, wanting to admit her own failings, but still ask and 
figure out answers of how she's dealing with it, how she plans to deal with it. Wanderer might not give her answers and might be totally confused, but still the Seeker would show that she's trying to search or have little, like other characters say, hey, that that Seeker was going into these files that, you know, Seekers don't usually go into, I, and have them not realize what was going on by going, well, I guess it's Seeker business. Like, if you want to have that backstory for your Seeker character, hint at it. Just don't wait till we're saying, oh, the Seeker is pure evil, and like, actually she wasn't, she just had a bitchy host. That's still let down. It's a let down. And... That'll be it for this part. I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. And if you notice, these endings keep on changing because I'm not used to how I usually end these videos. <laughs> but yeah, and if you go there, you can see videos like these and other amazing content. And please comment below and tell me what you think about the Soul Society and about the Seeker. Do you like how it's portrayed in the book? Do you loathe, like me, how it's portrayed, portrayed? And in the case of the Seeker, how would you write her? Or do you think she's okay as is? And please like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Also, there's links in the description. So you check those out. You know, because I'm awesome. And until next video, goodbye.